Hey, you guys, it's me, Kiana, coming at you today, and I am coming at you just to talk. Um, actually, I have a couple of things to talk about. Um, <clears throat> one thing is, um, as you all know, you've seen that I went on that local cruise, and um, many of you guys that don't watch me um, or are you new to the channel, um, but many of you guys have watched me from day one, um, and I've been on YouTube since August the 14th, two years it will be August the 14th, and um, I know despite what it says on my channel, that's because this used to be my husband's previous channel, and um, that's why it's called Big Cuz. Naturally, of course, you all know that I would choose a better name than that. <laughs> so I just took over his channel, didn't know that it was going to be you know where it is today but um so many of you have watched my videos from the past a lot of new people go over my old videos as well um so if you watch my local cruise video you really don't probably understand how big that was for me because I overcame something that day that many of you guys will never understand um, if you watch my videos in the past, you know that my daughter, Nene, um, her father committed suicide, um, in those very same waters that I was in. Um, <clears throat> that was the area that we started off in. And I have not been down there, literally. Um, I haven't been down there, actually, from when I was, like, six years old, but... I refused to go down there since that was where his body was discovered. Um, so that local cruise, not only it meant a lot to me for several different reasons, um, but it meant a lot, you know, to me because I was able to overcome something um, that uh, was painful. Um, and many of you know the story. Um, you've probably seen the videos. I think it's titled Part 1, 2, and 3. Um, it's titled I Think I Killed Him. And that was because, I titled it because um, he actually committed suicide a few days after I um, told him I will not be with him. And they found him 30 days later um, in those waters. So, um... And I have more details, I'm just not going to get into it, of why I've always um, carried that burden of thinking that I had something to do with it as far as um, his mindset, um, my refusing to be with him, and things like that. Well, today, um, you know, it's something that is always in the back of my mind because that's something that will impact your life forever. Um, but today I do know, by the grace of God, I am healed from that, I am delivered from that. And as I've said so many times before, and I know that a lot of people say it, but I think many of you can see it's obvious, I really truly have joy. Um, and I, I emphasize it because I wasn't always at a place of having joy. I was happy, but I didn't have joy. The kind of joy I have is not stemming from my marriage is not stemming from having yet another business. It's not stemming from having another successful business. It's not stemming from um, my children growing up and all those things. It's stemming from an inner peace. And although nothing in my life is perfect, because none of us have a perfect life, my marriage isn't perfect. Um, my finances aren't as good as I would want it. It's not perfect. Um, sometimes I'm stressed out to the max. But in spite and despite any of those things, whether they come and go, my joy remains. And I wasn't always at this place. That's why you appreciate it so much more when you do get at this place. And because I wasn't always at this place, I try to help people along the way that may not be there as well. If years of my struggles 
can help somebody else not have to go through years of their own struggle, then to me, some of it wasn't in vain. My struggles, my journeys, I leave them up on YouTube because it gives me and also others a chance to greater appreciate my process. Because in those videos, there lies my testimony. And that's why it's imperative and that's why it's important and that's why I do leave videos up and um, it's a testament to me to how God can deliver, how God can change, how God can heal mentally, physically, all those things. And I strive to be better every day. I don't just say it, but I actively strive to do better every day. Now, as far as my weight loss and things like that, I'm always going to try. Always. I'm never going to give up. And that's also something that um, I'm proud of, too, because I was not always at that place. It was at a time where I was okay with, not okay with it, but I I kind of accepted that I wasn't going to be able to ever do differently and be differently. And although I'm at the place where if I lose weight, if I don't, I'm still happy. I still have joy. I'm going to actively every day try to do better in my entire life, not just one aspect. So I'm saying all that to say and back to um, about what I overcame with that local cruise. Um that's one of the reasons why I didn't share this with y'all, but that's one of the reasons why it was very important for me because that actually um, signified to me um, overcoming to another level. You know, when you love somebody and to have had that happen and to think that you had, you know, something to do with it as far as pushing them over the edge of mentally wanting to do something like that. It impacts your life, like I said, forever. And sometimes it scars you to the point where you don't want to embark on certain things. For instance, some people would have never, ever went back down there. Um, and I overcame that. And that was something big for me. That's why that was something big for me. Now, um, on a lighter note, huh, um, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, not every state does local cruises, um, and, and they're not expensive. You can get the tickets. They're not extremely cheap like some would may think. They're not extremely cheap that they are about $75 each time that you get on each person. Um, you also can get professional photos taken, and we did that. I'll show you guys that sometime this week. Um, but it was a very nice time for me, but more importantly, I overcame a lot, and I am so proud of myself because that was years and years. Um, I think that he passed, let's see, Nene is 17, almost, so I think he passed when she was nine, so that was about eight years, you guys, eight years, and that day, that day. It was all of everything that I've worked on to get to that place. It all came full circle that day. And, um, yeah. So um, I do have something. I'm not going to because of there was so much. I'm, I'm just not going to. Uh, I'm just going to let things speak for itself. Um, I try to do that now, but because I'm such a, um, because I do consider you guys family and because I do like to share certain things with my friends, um, I have to keep in mind not everybody is that. And um, I think that things will speak for itself, but very, very, very soon, and I'm talking about in the next couple of days, you guys will see something big that's going on. Um, I'm trying not to say too much. I'm just going to, I'm not going to announce it. I'm just going to show you guys. You'll just automatically see it in the video. But it will be a contest going on with that. 
um, and I'm going to need you guys after I release the video and after I do the video, I'm going to need you guys to, the part of the contest without me telling too much right now, is a guessing game. So um, that video, the appointment is on the 26th, so um, you guys will see that video somewhere around that time, and you'll be able to see what something big is going on, and um, yeah, I'm just going to let it speak for itself. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, alright, you guys, I love you all so much. After that video is released, I will be um, letting you guys uh, experience some things with me. Again, I'm trying not to say too much. So, uh, you'll understand. Mark my words on this day. It's it's 1.35 on May the 22nd, which is Tuesday, that I said these things. Um, I'm pretty sure it's people taking notes. So they can mark my words, but that's okay. Yeah, you can mark my words. But anyway, um, yeah, so um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because a lot of you guys have watched me for so long, and you do know the story. Um, you know a lot of stories of uh, my journey, and that is a major part of it, and that's why that local cruise, whether local or not, meant a lot to me. Um, so, yeah. Also, let me quickly tell you guys that I marked a lot of things down for a drastic sale. It's called Super Clearance Sale, and that will literally be only for today. I'll do it for the next couple of days, but it's a Super Clearance Sale on my site. Um, you've probably already seen somewhere up there the, uh, the note of my site. And also in the description box right down there. You're going to see um, the link to my online boutique. And um, it is bigcut52.webs.com, Kiana's Diva Designs, and it's huge savings. I'm talking about you're going to get a lot of those necklaces that everybody is wearing, the chunky necklaces and, you know, all the stylish stuff for the spring. And all of those things are on super clearance sale section. One second, baby. And then um, I have another section. I'm looking at the screen right now. I have another section called added the new, just added the new and hottest stuff. That is some really, really cute stuff, you guys. Stretch bracelets with the blinged out kisses and the lipstick, the little uh, holder of lipstick next to it, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you go check out the site and also check out the super clearance sale as well as just added new and hottest stuff section and category. Again, bigcut52.webs.com. I love you all so much. Thank you for rolling with me throughout my journey. And there's so much more to come. Keep going.